gone up against Baltimore and you go against a quarterback like Lamar, are there things you're able to take from each of those matchups over the years that kind of helps you get a baseline for having to defend kind of his dynamic offense or his mm. way as a quarterback? I ain't played him in a while. I haven't played him since the playoff game that one year. When, when was that, 2020? Yeah. 19? When was that, 19 or 20? 21? Yeah, what year was that? 2020? So that's a long time from now. I ain't, I, I barely really remember what it's like to even play him. I think I was kind of banged up that game. I had like a little ankle deal going on. And uh, man, I really don't remember much, to be honest. So I'm eager to get back out, out there and uh, see what it feels like to chase Lamar around again. You're watching a film on him now. Yo, what yeah. is kind of your first kind of reaction to how you try to slow a guy like that down? I mean, you don't, I mean, you, we talking about the MVP of the league. You don't you don't slow a guy down like that, you know what I'm saying? You just have to go out there and try to execute the game plan as best you know how. I remember playing the guy in college and uh, at Louisville, and he was just the guy. And from then going on to the league, he's still been the guy and winning MVP and all the accolades he's accumulated over the years. Like, you know, you just got to, hey, it's one of them games. Like, you just got to go out there and just try your best and try to minimize, I guess. That's it.